I'm going to show you how to set up Patreon alerts using OBS for your live streams. This is not my setup. This belongs to Samyazi Law. She streams on YouTube Gaming, so pink chair. It's not mine. So, first we need the CLR browser, which can be found at this link. Or just do a search. You'll find obsproject.com. And download one of these two files 32 bit or 64 bit version. To zip files, so you're going to want to extract that to one of these locations. Whatever. Next, we need to make two folders inside the C drive one named data inside data another named db these are going to be used for the database files we're downloading next so head over to mongodb.org download this database first option is windows 64 bit 2008 r2 plus so download that let it download to the default location now head over to the bob dev website and download this file which is also a zip file so you're going to want to extract that file over to somewhere you know just pick a spot whatever alright now we want to start the database we just downloaded so the database can be found the C drive program files mongodb 2.6 standard inside the bin folder is the file we need mongod.exe or just do a search you know Either one. Same thing. Alright, let me close this out. Alright, so we start the, uh, this file here, and now you want to start the notification software, which is the Bob Dev file we just extracted. So head over to your Bob Dev folder, start.bat is the file we need. Click on that. Now you know your connection is good because it'll tell you connection now open. So we're good there. All right. Now we're gonna want to head over to your browser. Type in localhost 8080. Now it's gonna ask you to connect to your Twitch account. So just have an account ready to log into, and it should show you a client ID. If it doesn't, you'll need to register the application with Twitch by clicking on the here link at the bottom somewhere down here. And once you register the application, just click connect with Twitch. It'll bring you to this page, and you're gonna go to configuration wizard. Now scroll down to available pages. Click on that. Scroll down till you find the Patreon section, right here. Now we're gonna copy this link over to OBS. So you're gonna add your browser here. and paste it in this URL section. And now we're going to want to change these two cookies, group ID and session ID. So we got to find those cookies in your patron page. So head over to your patron page, which is not mine, this is some Yazis. I don't have mine set up yet, so I'm going to use hers. Now, you're going to want to go to patron manager and then view all patrons. It'll bring you to this page. In the top right of the browser, I'm using Chrome. So, settings section, scroll down to more tools and developer tools. Let this pop up. Now, click on network. And up here, click on the download as CSV. Now the file is going to be downloaded. I'm going to click on it. Bottom left. So scroll down to the cookie section. Cookies. And find group ID and session ID. So group ID is. Let me see that. Right there. Oops. So double click on that. Copy. My CLR browser is gone. Alright, let me add this again. CLR browser. Copy this. Ok. 
Okay. Now we copy the cookie. And that's going to be the group ID. So after group ID equals XXX, we're going to paste it right there. Make sure you can see that. And now we need the session ID, which is here somewhere. Now we copy the session ID over to the session ID section. Right after the equals, we're going to paste it. And if you want to test it, you hit the ampersand, unload equals 1. Now I want to change the size of the image. So I'm going to do 1500, all right, 10.5, and hit OK. And it didn't work. Wait a minute. We need a minute. Oh, I did that wrong. OK. Ampersand onload equals test one. Equals test one. All right, this should work. Now, if you want to change the audio in the image, you can do that by going to the Bob Dev folder, the file you extracted, and clicking on the fsn.jar file. Right click on that and you can open it with your your zip software. I'm using WinWare so you're not going to extract you're going to open it. Open with that. Now go to public and audio. Now the folder you're looking for, or the file you're looking for is patreon.mp3. Now you're going to delete that and replace it with one of your audio files. But make sure it's called patreon.mp3. It needs to be the same exact name. And the same thing with the image. Get out of here, go to image, and then uh, just select the image you want and replace it. I don't know which one it is, it's one of these. Anyways, whatever the image is, you gotta name it the same exact thing. You get the idea. Alright, and uh, I think that's it. I'm done. I had asked them to do this this video a long time ago, but she never did, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it for her. Uh, she had asked this developer like over a year ago to create some alerts for Patreon. That's what he came up with, and she's been using it ever since, and it, it works great. I mean, there's changes to it occasionally, but it keeps up with it, and uh, it, it's been working. So that's good. All right. I'm done. Out of here.